In this video, we're going to talk about positional representations inside of Autodesk Inventor. This type of representation is another node that we have in our representations on the left-hand side of our model browser. So here we have representations, we have view representations, position representations, and also a level of detail representations. As you recall, view representations allow you to control color as well as the camera view that you're looking at. Now, positional representations basically allow you to put your components into different assembled states. So you can have different constraint values for your constraints. You can also have your components be flexible so that they can actually consume lower degrees of freedom inside of your sub-assemblies to make different movements at the top level. You can also adjust your patterning inside of a positional representation as well. Overall though, it's a pretty common task to say, well, I need to show this device open and closed or extended and retracted. And how do I do that? Doing it inside the modeling space is one thing, so you can visually see it, but also seeing it in the documentation side and documenting the total travel of a cylinder or the total opening and closing that you have for a jaw like we see in front of us. So right now I have a master position representation and a closed one. If I double click on the closed one here to activate it, you can see it will change my constraint overrides to actually close up my jaw. Now when I grab on this, it doesn't pull away like a loose component. Is basically constrained in that manner to be closed. If I go look at my drawing for this, I can basically see that I can document both the open and the closed state of this gripper. So what this really allows you to do is create an assembly in two different states so you don't have to create two different assemblies. I have basically an open and a closed position to this design. And as you can see from this drawing, it's easily documentable. You can actually show your different state in a dashed line representation to let you know that that is not the static representation that we want to show. It's basically the other travel of movement. If you imagine a cylinder body, you could have the cylinder rod be dashed on the extended part of the stroke and normal coloring on the retracted part of the extension. So it's not really just for modeling. It's really designed to better communicate your design through documentation or perhaps even if you're doing animation in the modeling side.